You want somebody in power to fix it for you. You're an authoritarian. You believe in top-down power. You believe in big mummy, big daddy, big brother, big sister coming and doing it for you. These people are not saying uh, give us strength, give us individual rights. Uh, we ask not that you fix our problems, only that you give us the strength to fix them ourselves. That's not what is being asked for. And I do see they seem to be totally unrelated except through historical coincidence, but I do see a correlation between the two. I'm not saying correlation equals causation, and I'm not saying it's a grand conspiracy. I actually, as paranoid as I am, I really don't think these things are part of a grand conspiracy. There are nefarious elements who are profiting from these events 100%. Some of it has been coerced, some of it has been managed, some of it is being uh, pushed forward. 100%. I'm now talking about the correlation between the two major things that have been going on in 2020. That's what I'm talking about specifically. But what I can see is a thematic equivalence between the two in that it is about authority. It is about authority. Both demand authority. All of this rebellion, overthrow, you know, power to the people, it's horseshit. It's horseshit. They want people in power to do it for them. They want Big Daddy and Big Mummy to do it for them. It's a statist point of view. You want big state. You want an infinitely big state. You want an infinitely big government. It certainly isn't libertarian um, and it's massively authoritarian, whether it's left or right, is becoming more and more meaningless every day. We shouldn't even be considering left and right. We shouldn't be considering the up and the down. There's left and there's right. But up is authority, down at the other end of the uh, quadrant rather than the left-right spectrum is liberty, is liberty. And these people are authoritarians. But as Jung said a long time ago in The Undiscovered Self, if the individual, overwhelmed by the sense of his own puniness and, and impotence, feels that, life is, that his life has lost its meaning, which long before 2020 came along, we were dealing with a crisis of a loss of meaning, then he's already on the road to state slavery and without knowing or wanting it has become its proselyte.